Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Uh, let's just do a quick little uh, video real quick. Uh, the new... What? Uh, Delta, what is it? COVID-19 Delta, and now the new variant has been announced within the past hours or past day or whatever it is. And um, it, 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 this is the name, Omnicron. And if you go over to Jacob, Jake, uh, Jacob, I can't spell, Jacob Israel. His name is Jacob Israel on YouTube. If you go to Jacob Israel, he just posted a great video that's 50 plus minutes. And he explains and breaks down what this word means. He tells you what the Omni is and what the Kron is. A little teaser. This is a God that eats children. Anyways, let's go back over. Because if you go over to watch this Jacob Israel video. Okay. He also talks a lot about the Q. He also talks about General Flynn. And if you listen to what he's saying and have open eyes and ears, I highly suggest you listen to what he's saying. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to what he's saying. Uh, but anyways, okay, so that's, um, that's what uh, Jacob Israel on YouTube. Jacob Israel, you'll see him. You guys know him. He's popular, big channel. Does a lot of uh, observations. Let's put it that way. Biblical observations. Much like Pastor Paul Begley, but just in a different style. We all see things differently. There's a big, there's a, you know, we're all part of the big picture. We're all God's children. We're all connected. We're all helping each other and we're all doing our part to show it's biblical, not political. So let's go ahead, like I say, this is the new variant that's just come out. Like I say, Jacob Israel does a great job talking about what those two words mean. And he talks a lot about the um, Egypt and, uh, yeah, all kinds of great stuff. Now, if we mirror this word, if we mirror this word, we can read it just really quick. Because, like, I, I looked at it for two seconds. I just look at it. No. RC in the dictionary is an uh, abbreviation for Roman Catholic in an MO. Let's look at MO real quick. Oh, let me. I have, can I get it there with one hand? I guess so. MO. M H I O. M O. M O. Abbreviations. M O. Abbreviation. For mass observation. We know that the Roman Catholic holds mass. But this brand new variant, spelt backwards, could be read. And this was what? Mass observation. Mass observation. That's silly. So all I'm doing is using words, etymology, breaking it down backwards, mirrored. Etymology is taking words, breaking them down in syllables. It tells you exactly where each part of the word comes from, from which language, which past language, to create the new language of English, which is only, well, we don't really know our true history, but it, they tell us it's not really that old. Here's the dictionary explaining these words, but if you use witchcraft and mirror these things backwards and do the exact same thing, use the prefixes and break it on down in etymology, and then it says stories. So this word, the new variant, could be read as no Roman Catholic in mass observation. Like I say, I know it goes much deeper and much bigger and quicker, but that was just a two-minute little quickie. But yeah, Jacob Israel does a great job. Not only on the new variant, does a great job and talks about just like this stuff. He talks about what these words mean 
and etymology, but he doesn't do it mere. He's just doing it regular. You can learn a lot about a lot of things just by learning about words and how they work and what they mean. That's what the lawyers do. It's what the scribes do. It's what the politicians do. Just don't get trapped in the web and think you're so smart and then go out there and become a lawyer, a scribe, a swamp creature. You know what I mean? Politics. Study and know your enemy. Don't become your enemy. Yes? Okay, so like I say, just another quick little um, thing of mirroring the words, seeing that it is biblical, and we know how the Roman Catholic is planned. We got two popes. We have two living popes as we speak. Abominations all over the world. Pray. Uh, be blessed. Be grateful for everything that you go through. Because you cannot learn and you cannot grow without being wrong. Let's say like a really good teacher. Like Jesus Christ. The greatest teacher ever. He didn't sit there and say... One plus one is two. It was parables. He said, what if one, this is me just ad libbing this example. What if one added to one, what would it be? And that way the student goes out and does their own research. They try to figure out, they do it themselves. And if they get it wrong, that is part of the process to learn how to get it right. It's not a parrot mimic. We use our brains. Just like Jesus said, be aware of the signs. You'll see the signs. If you have eyes, you will see. If you have ears, you will hear. Use your mind, he says. But then again, don't use your mind and get so smart that you want to go out and get paid and get money for everything that you do so that you can just be more entrapped in the money or the politics or a agenda. Like I say, if you're a little on the fence about Q, go watch Jacob Israel talk about General Flynn and the Q movement and ask yourself, were we duped? But again, have be blessed and thankful that you've been duped by the devil. For only you know how the devil's tricks work. The people that are still being deceived don't know what you are talking about. They don't know what you're trying to explain to them. And it doesn't matter if you've been doing that. You're saving your own soul, and that's all any person in the world can do. I can't save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. And you can only save and let Jesus Christ save you once you realize who you are and how much we've been led astray and how much we've sinned in our life and how much we need forgiveness for our past. And then all the doors will open up and you'll be able to see with clear eyes. And you will no longer sit there and say, is it three? Is it four? Is it five by five? You'll say, no, it's two. You'll know. Nobody will ever, ever be able to deceive you again. Yeah? So like I say, be grateful. Be grateful that you've been destroyed deceived by the devil and have been able to see it for what it is. Stand strong. Put your armor of God on. Have faith. And watch the arrows go flying by you as the devil gets mad at you for seeing his tricks. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless me on this full short video.